Stephen Cureño right here with Andy Ruiz Sr. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you, brother, we, obviously everyone asks Andy how life has changed uh, for him, but how has life changed for, for you since, uh, since your son's become the champ? You know what, it changed a lot. Uh, we've been traveled a lot uh, around the world. Uh, a lot, we, we've been having a lot of, a lot of, a lot of interviews. We, uh, we're emotional, emotional. We feel like the first, the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. We made history. Then uh, he's the next, uh, the, my Rocky, my Mexican Rocky. So that what we was dreaming of right. when he was a young kid. You know, I, I wanted to ask you. When was the first time you remember Andy made another kid cry in the gym? And you're like, oh, I got something here. You know what? When he started in the gym, uh, I started Andy when he was six years old. So when he went to the gym, he start, he was he was a, a, a hyper kid. So that's what I took it to the gym, and he start, I put the glove with another kid, and he was beating the kids. So I said, you know what? Andy, he's, he's gonna do some. some he's gonna be somebody in the world. Those, got something there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, uh, I asked you earlier when you went to Saudi. What what'd you eat over there? What, uh, what what kind of food do they they give you guys over there in Saudi? You know what? It's a real nice people in Saudi Arabia. I was thinking different too. Like a, a, a lot of the people, they think that it's gonna be Just bad 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 world. country, right. a different world. Mm -hmm. But you know what? They got McDonald's, Burger <laughs> Kings, Pizza Hut. They got everything over there. Nice restaurants. The people they they so kind. The prince, uh, the, he's he's a nice, uh, a real nice person, gentleman. So I invite everyone to go over there. It's a nice country. You 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 gonna like it when you go over there. I, I'm looking forward to it. Man. How, how hot was it over there? How hot? Yeah. You know what? It's it was real hot because we used to the hot because we live in we we live in the Pearl Valley mm -hmm. and right there is real hot in Mexicali too. But on December, it's going to be a nice weather. Well, it's their uh, winter over there, right? Yeah, winter yeah. in December, so it's going to be a nice weather over there. But I invite everyone to go over there to South Arabia. It's a real nice country, and you're going to like it when you go over there. You know, one of the things, man, I think that uh, a lot of people find endearing about Andy is his humility. You know what I mean? He's still very humble after winning. He's still he's the same guy from before till, till now. I feel like he's still, still the same dude. You know what? He's the same guy. Uh, everybody thought that, that he was gonna be different because he, he now he's a hero. He won the, the first Mexican champion of the world. But he's the same guy. Me, uh, me too. I'm the same guy because you know what? In boxing, you never know. In boxing, you can fight the next fight. You can get knocked out. You can you can you can uh, lose a fight. And then the people, what they gonna say? You know what? This kid, he was thinking that he was so bad and all this shit. But I always tell my son, be humble and stay the your feet in the dirt, mm -hmm. in the you, ground, in the ground. You, you taught him well, man, because he, he definitely has that for sure. He's, he's one of the humble guys. And I feel uh, Anthony Joshua took his, his loss uh, very humbly as well, I feel. Do you, so kind of looking at the rematch, being on tour with uh, Anthony Joshua and, and all them, did you get any sense from him? Did, is he different at all from the first time around? No, you know what? He's a, he's a, he's a humble guy, Anthony Joshua. I don't got nothing to say bad about Anthony Joshua. He's a gentleman, and he's you know what? He's a he's a he's a humble guy, and he 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 knew that he lost the fight, and that night Andy was he was the best fighter, but but he's, he's he talked real good about me, Andy. So he wants to he's hungry. He wants to get his belt back in, in our side. We don't, we don't want to give the side no, the, the build back. Right, no. So, uh, and that night, the best one is gonna is the one who's gonna win. Yeah, and I, I feel the fans are gonna win that yeah. night for sure. M m most ab above everything else. I want to ask, man, is is the Snickers deal done? Do you guys get the Snickers deal done? No, you know what? We didn't we didn't make no deal with the sneakers. The only thing that sneaker came because when Andy was like six, seven years old. I used to, he used to be playing around before the fight, mm. and I used to have a sneaker, and I was giving the, the sneaker to get hyper. Right. So one day he <laughs> takes sugar, he got hyper. So the, in the last fight with Alexander Dimitrinko, uh -huh. I took a sneaker and I give the sneaker to him. Uh -huh. So that way he can eat and he can have right, a lot right. of, a lot of. Yeah, it, but it's, it still works now, huh? Even as an adult, it still works. Yeah, it still works, the sneaker. <laughs> but we haven't made any deal with the sneaker. 
Well, ho hopefully that comes through, brother. I appreciate your time, uh, Andy. Thank you so much. Uh, best of luck in the rematch, sir. Thank you, Thank you man. Appreciate it.